What I'm going to show next is a, a, a double egg. So a double egg that I like to use as well is a very tiny one, you know, because I'm going to pull and push my opponent, you know, and, uh, and get that exactly a good timing to then, you know, drop for a double and get, you know, uh, this guy on his back, right? So uh, when I start my matches, you know, I really do like, you know, to get, you know, control of his head, right? So I really like to do that. I get close, right? So we're right here. One thing I like to do, you know, I first I start pushing him instead of pulling. So I start pushing, he's gonna, he gonna push back on me, right? And so in that, when I start, you know, like really pulling his head, you know, so that's going to create a reaction from him where he'll try really hard to get that posture, get his posture back. Because if he doesn't do it, you know, I might just go pull, pull, pull until, you know, I get him down like that. And then and they, they feel like that. So, you know, that is difficult to do it. It might happen, but, you know, the reality is, you know, when I'm pushing, pushing, he pushes back. As soon as I pull in here, he does that, right? And that is when I drop, you know, again, a good squat right there, right? I want my hands behind his knees, not behind the legs right here. I don't need to go down and cast, like right, right behind me, right? And the first thing I'm gonna do it, my left knee is going to go like really deep right there. You see, I'm between his legs. My head's right here. I'm gonna be pushing my head to the left side. And normally what I do, I go around with my left leg right here from here to here and I like to lift his leg where my head is as well, right? And then I see. So again, we're right here. I got hold in the head. I do have my other arm I can place, my hand I can place anywhere from the shoulder to the elbow. I really like, you know, this position right here because I get a better control, right? So in a no gi, having the wrist sometimes not the best. So I, you know, when I start wrestling right here, I like to go to the elbow, right? And again, I'm gonna first push him, right? That's gonna create his reaction to push me back. That's when I'm gonna try to pull his head down, right? And he's going to push it up. Just create that reaction. Again, I'm gonna squat the off angle level, right? And again, I'm gonna shoot at the same time. I'm moving my knee, get my head on the side. I'm gonna move my right leg. At the same time, I lift his leg, right? And then I keep circling until I take him down. From a different angle, we're right here. Again, I got my position. Okay, I'm gonna push, make him react to that. I'm gonna pull, he reacts to that as well. I drop, knee in, I grab behind the legs, right the knee. I pull his leg up, the side I have my head in, at the same time, I circle. An angle. So here again, you're pushing, and you pull, you react to that, I'm dropping, one, lift the leg. Circle. Most likely I'll be on his full guard or half guard after I'll take him down. 